Hello everyone, welcome again in Engman YouTube channel. Today we will do nodal analysis in a well with gravel pack. Okay, so we will do the nodal analysis and the well modeling within Prosper software. It's very interesting and important topic. So I hope the material can be useful for all of us. We are now inside the Prosper. So let's go to the first section. Click this one. Okay, you can follow me. Fluid description, fluid, oil and water, method black oil, separator, single stage separator, no emulsion, disable warning for PVT warning. And for water viscosity, we will use default correlation. Viscosity model, Newtonian fluid. We will have tubing flow. And of course, for well type producer, we don't have any artificial leaf in this example. You can also type in user information like company, field, location, and so on and so forth. Also your comment here in this section. And then for a calculation type, predict pressure and temperature onshore or on land, model rough approximation, range, full system. Brain properties correlation, we will use default. And then for well completion, we will have case toll and the same control we will use gravel pack, all right? Be careful here. For sand control, we will use gravel pack. Inflow type, single branch, and no gas conning, all right? Done. Okay, then we go to the PVT section. Click this one. Okay, for solution GOR, 800, standard cubic feet per stock tank barrel, oil gravity, 37 degree API and gas gravity 0.76, water salinity 23,000 ppm, and no impurities, no H2S, CO2, and no nitrogen. For bubble point, RS and BO, we will use glasso as usual. And for oil viscosity correlation, we'll use BL et al. Right, And in this example, we also have laboratory data. So if we have laboratory data, we can input into the Prosper and then do the matching so that the match correlation can be applied in the simulation. So click this one, match data. All right, I've prepared my data. I'm going to copy the data and paste into these tables. All right, and the temperature is 210 and bubble point pressure of 3,500, all right? So we have inputted our laboratory data and then we do the matching, click match, all right. And then match all, okay. So our PVT data, our laboratory data has been matched with the correlation. So to make sure we can plot the parameters, click plot by temperature, all right, first we plot the calculated data, click temperature, and let's say we want to check the gas oil ratio. All right, this is the results from the matched correlation, okay? And also we want to plot our laboratory data. This one, this matched data, click the temperature, and then gas oil ratio. All right, so we have the pink, pink line as the results and the orange line as our data. If you want to see just one data, you can uncheck this one like this one. So we have this orange line as our laboratory data. We only have one, two, three, four, five points, right? So this is the original laboratory data and we check this one again. You can see it's almost perfectly matched, right? Except only in this interval. Practically, it is matched and we can use the correlated results. Okay, it's perfect. And then remove all. Let's see for the oil formation volume factor. This is the results. And then this is the data. 
almost perfect except in this pressure interval from 1000 to approximately 2500 psig where they don't match okay but it's okay we can still use the results and also for the viscosity right practically good so then the correlation can be used in our simulation or in our modeling all right so far so good we can finish this is also the the results in plot and also in table okay done 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 and now you can see this highlight p is matched okay so our laboratory data has been matched with our correlation so that the results from the correlation can be used in our simulation or modeling all right so far so good so we have completed the pvt section and then of course the main section is the ipr inflow performance relationship click this one okay and then we will select Darcy. Okay. And then for the mechanical or geometric skin, we will select Caracas Antarctic. And then for the partial or deviation penetration skin, we will select this correlation. Okay. So we need to input the parameter for the reservoir data and for model data. So you can follow me. Reservoir temperature. 5200 psig reservoir temperature 210 degree fahrenheit zero water cut and total gor of 800 standard cubic feet per stock tank barrel compaction permeability model no relative permeability no okay now we input the reservoir model let's be careful here Reservoir permeability, you can follow me, 50 millidarcies with reservoir thickness of 100 feet, drainage area of 500 acres, and we will assume a radial reservoir, so the DH shape factor will be 31.6, okay? And for well bore radius, 0 0.354 and if you have reservoir with another shape maybe rectangular or triangular or another shape you can also calculate the dh shape factor by clicking this one and then you need to input the parameters for the length of the reservoir the width right and then distance to side d1 and distance to n d2 and then you can calculate the DHC factor. Of course, it will influence the PI or the productivity index. Okay, cancel. And then we go to mechanical or geometrical skin calculation. You can, again, you can follow me. Reservoir permeability, of course, 50 millidarcies. And shot density, the perforation, eight shot per fit. And then for the perforation diameter, 0 0.43 inches. Perforation length, 9.2 inches. Perforation efficiency, let's say only 90%. Damage zone thickness, 8 inches. And then for the damage zone permeability, only 25 millidarcies. So it will be different from the reservoir permeability, right? Usually, it can be much lower than the reservoir permeability. And then for the crush zone thickness, 0.2 inches with crush zone permeability, 12.5. For the short pacing, 120 degrees. Well, radius, of course, 0 0.354. And for the vertical permeability, let's assume 5 millidarcies. Okay, so far so good. 
The calculation will be based on Caracas and Tarik mechanical skin model. And you can also calculate the perforation details using API RP43 method or SPOT method. All right. And then for the deviation or partial penetration skin, we can input the deviation will be 13 degrees with penetration 100% or one as a fraction. And of course, for the vertical permeability will be five. And because we have gravel pack for our sand control mechanism, we need to also input parameters within this sand control section. All right. So you can follow me. Gravel pack permeability, it will be big, right? 35,000 millidarcies. Perforation diameter already inputted, 0 0.43. Shot density, 8 per foot. And for the gravel pack length of 6 inches, perforation interval, we perforate all the thickness of the reservoir, 100 feet. Deviation, of course, 13. Perforation efficiency, 0 0.9. And beta factor method will be calculated. Okay. And then for phase choice, we will select multi phase. Okay. So for the beta factor, will be calculated. So far, so good. And then we go to calculate. All right. Everything has been calculated. We can see here the AOF has been calculated. The absolute oven flow or maximum flow rate, we achieve 9,600 stock sand barrel per day. All right. And you can also see this. This beta factor has been calculated. We can see the definition of beta factor later. We can read the help. And then we can plot the results. Plot result for x axis variable rate, y axis variable, we can plot a lot of parameters. Let's say we just want to see the pressure to create IPR or inflow performance relationship. All right, done. All right, very good. You can see this is the IPR and this is the absolute oven flow, maximum flow rate. You can check or uncheck like this one. And you can also see if we want to plot this one, the pressure drop, sand control skin, right, this one. So the pressure drop will increase as the flow rate increases. Check or uncheck. You can see also the results in this section, right? The skin, 1.58, the perforation skin of 1.6 formation PI with no skin of 7.84 deviation skin. It will give something like stimulation. So the skin will be negative, but it's not that big. All right, so we have generated our IPR. We can finish and then done. All right, so far so good. Done. Okay.